The amount of carbon dioxide equivalent that comes from cattle is about the same as the entire global transportation sector. So cows emit the same amount of greenhouse gases as does every truck, train, plane, ship on the planet combined. And what we're working on is an additive that can reduce those uh, greenhouse gas emissions by over 90% and reduce the environmental footprint of cattle production. I am Tamara Loisel, and I am the founder and CEO of Synegraze Inc., where we are working to reduce methane emissions from cattle. Globally, there's about 1.4 billion head of cattle. Here in Canada, we have about 12 million. And here in Alberta, we have about 4.9 uh, million head of cattle. Our 4.9 uh, million head of cattle produce about 8.8 .8 million tons of carbon dioxide equivalent uh, from enteric methane. So if we have a product that can reduce that by 90%, we're talking about a very significant reduction in greenhouse gas emissions. Here's how they do it. Synergraze's solution is a natural cattle feed additive made with algae. Algae that's never been used in this way before and that Synergraze grows themselves. First, they had to figure out how to grow a lot of it cost effectively. Once they've finished growing it, it's then taken out of the tank when it's processed and dried and ground into powder. That powder is brought out to feedlots, where it's mixed into the animal feed. A very small amount, less than 1% by weight, has a huge impact on the cattle's methane emissions. To make sure it's healthy and effective in commercial production, Syndergrace works with Feedlot Health Management Services. Uh, my name's Calvin Booker. I'm a veterinarian and one of the managing partners at Feedlot Health Management Services by TELUS Agriculture. Our company, uh, as our focus, we're veterinarians and animal scientists and nutritionists, and we work with commercial producers, feedlots like this one, um, to help them optimize the health and production and growth of the animals in the feedlot. We work with companies like Synergraze who have new products that they're developing for the cattle production market, trying to figure out how those actually work in commercial production operations. This project will take us through the er early commercialization production scale where we will produce enough uh, additive to feed about 135,000 cattle in a feedlot situation, so that's over six months, and we'll be able to reduce uh, carbon emissions by about 78,000 uh, tons of carbon dioxide uh, with this uh, early scale commercial project. So with a product like this, I think the most exciting thing, as Tamara has indicated, is it has the potential to reduce methane emissions from, uh, from cattle by up to 90%. And that's a big number. The real question is, okay, now when we scale that up, are there other benefits that we see? Are there any downsides that are risks that we need to manage? And we really won't know that till we scale it up and get it into commercial production systems. ERA is uh, matching funds up to $5 million and it's a $15 million project.